right? He's going to help with Anthony Davis and make Anthony Davis' job easier. But also, just to get a guy that can consistently, night in and night out, go get you 15, 20. If you need him to get you 30, he can go get you 30. That is something we just don't have that consistent score on a nightly basis. You know, Reeves is probably the closest we have. He's been pretty solid, but we saw he had a rough game and we lost, right? Yeah, Where, no, and I wouldn't even put Reeves on. I understand what you're saying. He's the closest, but it's still a good gap. Like, you know what I mean? Between the scoring ability, I just think it's, it's still a good gap. Like, Reeves is dependable up to a certain point, but I just feel like D'Lo is like, he's always dependable. Well, it's a you know second I mean? year, too. You know well, yeah, I mean? no, like, no, I'm not. No, don't get me wrong. I, that's, no, hey, no, that's no. my guy. <laughs> but yeah. but <laughs> no, I just think that, like, between him and D'Lo, and, and, and I would agree, like, D'Lo is there to score the basketball. And obviously, yes, for his playmaking, playmaking too, but I don't think we would have signed him just for a playmaker, you know, spread the floor. Like, he's there to score the basketball. And I, I just, he adds that to your team. And when he gets hot, it's even, it's even more dangerous. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think he has the same like chemistry as like rusted with AD, but I think that will come. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's just it's still He's early stages. Good, though. No, I mean, it, it has it, was, it, it was has four games, especially on the pick and roll. Games, he he was he, him and AD. Had yeah, a nice no, especially connection. especially on the pick him and roll. Like, too. They have their own little style, which I love. But I just like I said, it will come. The thing is, like too, like they just started playing together, so like it's it's gonna come. You know what I mean? Obviously, him and LeBron have some chemistry, but like it's gonna come eventually. And that's why I think even next year is gonna be even more important because we're gonna have, like you said, we're gonna have a full season, and everybody's gonna start from ground zero. So it's like I'm very interested to see what we can actually do, especially with him, like him as our primary decision maker, slap him slash LeBron, because like I said, yeah. LeBron's still gonna play point guard. But I, I honestly think with D'Lo, you can step aside and just let him be the decision maker. You know what I mean? I get LeBron's LeBron. But, like, do you agree with me? Would you say when it comes to D'Lo, you can just let him be your sole, like, playmaker? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not, it's not sole yeah, playmaker. Yeah, you can you absolutely let him. If you're LeBron, you don't need to step. You don't. You really don't need to step over his role. You know what I mean? Like, I just. Yeah, but, he, but that was the thing. Because LeBron, LeBron does that LeBron. a lot. Because he felt like he, can, he cannot. Well, LeBron did it though, which was nice. Like, yeah, when LeBron came back from you know the the previous game or two that he missed, he just plugged in. Like he let D'Lo run. No, the, like, no. D-Lo now with this running. roster, yeah, he's doing a great job. Yeah. I'm just saying, like in the past, that's what he's done. Oh no, and absolutely. It's, sometimes it's really good for us, and sometimes we won't win games without it. But then sometimes it kind of hurts us. But with this roster, there is no need for it. LeBron can be LeBron and just play his role. You know what I mean? Yeah, play his game. I, like D'Lo, D'Lo's just gonna unlock a lot in general. Um, obviously, you know we what we have to do in twenty five games what teams have had an entire season to do. Exactly. And that's build chemistry. That's build you know relationships. That's building. And some of these teams have been together for a few years. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, all the top teams have. Right? Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, they have like a couple. Pieces Denver, do, Celtics, Milwaukee. Yeah. Like yeah, they, their core has remained the same. Yeah, exactly. So that's 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 a big difference too. And so far, we've been able to kind of expedite and make it work. Mm-hmm. Luckily, and this is what I talked about before the trade happened. It's easier to integrate role guys than it is another star. Like yeah. if we would have went and got Kyrie, it would have been a lot awkward. I mean, great example. Or like a DeRozan is, that would have been like. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, look at look at Denver or uh, uh, look at Dallas for example. Yeah, they've been terrible. And it's Luka weird. And it's, it's clunky. Have, yeah, they've looked clunky at times because it's so much harder to get a superstar integrated when they've played a specific way their whole career or in various destinations to then come in and have to play a different role and kind of make it work with other stars. It just becomes very difficult where role guys like Beasley, you, you like we got Beasley. It's like, what were you doing? I was shooting 11 threes a game. Okay. Just do that here. <laughs> Every yeah. time we touch the ball, shoot the ball. Right, like right. Vanderbilt. What were you doing? Oh, I was guarding the best player on the other team Grab and just making rebounds. hustle plays. Right, do that. That's what we need to do. Were you going to guard the best player? Like all of baby their Dennis roles, Rodman. <laughs> yeah, all of their roles are exactly the same yeah. every destination they've been, yeah. and so they're just coming in and they're just plugging in and doing what they need to do, and so that it just makes things so much easier in that regard. And D'Lo, Aren't you but proud D-Lo, they didn't star chase from once. Aren't you proud of the Lakers organization? I am very, I am very proud. I mean, this was a huge, huge turnaround roster wise. But it was such a slick, such so dude, slick. Rob Blinken deserves his flowers, no doubt. Oh yeah, no doubt. absolutely. Dude, dude has been absolutely great. But 
you know, in general, like we need guys to continue to step up. Troy Brown has been absolutely great um, these last stretch of games. Hopefully he can keep uh, doing that. Um, you know, Vanderbilt needs to just keep doing what he's doing. Beasley keeps needs to keep knocking it down. I think D'Lo is going to make things so much easier for him uh, in his ability to play. Not just that, but Dennis Schroeder is going to be so much more effective because now instead of him being in a starting role, his 10 points, you know, or whatever a game he gives us is now going to be coming from the bench unit. So yeah, his it, so now if D, if uh, Schroeder has 15 points one game, that 15 points is much more impactful because you have he's the sixth addition. man now instead yeah. of the second. You know, yeah. he's going from the second guy to the sixth guy. So that just the, the, just that pecking order, it just it'll balance everything up so much better. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that I think will help. Um, but D'Lo, D'Lo, I think is, is, is going to change this, this roster and this team tremendously. I really do. Um, but he does take a load off of everybody though. Really does. Uh, Like you said, even, even Schroeder, Schroeder benefits because he can just come off the bench. Like you said, score his 15, but not only is an additional 15, he can just come off the bench and cook really. You know what I mean? He doesn't have to have the pressure of making, you know, like the decisions for the whole team because you know he's he's a starting point guard. So just at that point, honestly, he can just come off the bench and be shorter. You know what yeah. I mean? Well, everybody yeah. can just be themselves and be comfortable in the role that they're in, which is a spot that we're in right now. I mean, once we get guys back and everything like that, but that's where you want to be. I feel like you don't want to be in a spot where like we were before when everybody is stepping up to a role that they're not supposed to be playing. You know what I mean? With the exception of like Austin Reeves, like I think he deserves that spot. You know what I mean? I mean roughly but not as like my as like as like that that shooting guard problem is like him being the secondary playmaker i do think he can eventually reach that point yeah but right now i just think it's it's too much to ask you've seen him struggle throughout these games at times especially with hard but do you think it's because of the injury or do you think it's because he's just not there yet i just think he's just not because before the injury like well yeah but before the injury like it was we the production value that we were getting out of Austin Reeves was, I mean, it was fair, you know, it was fairly good, you know. And he was starting to like really like solidify that role, but then after the injury, I just feel like we've seen a decline. You know what I mean? It just, yeah, but I mean, and he, he also he, has he, to adjust he, to everybody else on the team. You know, he's he was used to the old roster as well, so he's been he's been consistent outside of like it's just again it's that playmaking. Like you can he can handle the playmaking. In spots, in transitions, right? like if, in fast break yeah, basketball, like, yes, yeah. yes. In, in spot, like if you wanted to give him ten minutes a game or whatever to, to operate and do that, but him playing 20, 30 minutes as like your primary ball handler and playmaker, he's just not there yet. Um, yeah. I think he can get there. I just don't think. I just think as of right now, he's not there. At least for the team that we need. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if we. Were- <laughs>